they are the love heart pillows coming back for this video i don't think the love heart pillow has been in this video since i did my like 2021 we need to talk Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee because we're going to be talking all things mental health. Now, as I'm filming this, this is actually Mental Health Awareness Week, but I am actually putting this video up next week, so technically it's a week late, so sorry about that, but I don't think mental health should just be dedicated to one week. We should be talking about this, you know, all year round. I think it's something we're definitely progressing with, but it's definitely something that can be spoken about more online offline like to each other to friends to family that's like, spoken about on social media like it's definitely something that we can all probably relate to like it literally doesn't matter your age your gender like who you identify as like at the end of the day we are all human beings with feelings and i really wanted to touch on that actually this is something that i try and tell myself every single day and i try and tell the people that i love around me is that your feelings are so valid and you should never ever 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 apologize for how you're feeling if you feel a certain way like talk about it if you're feeling upset angry or frustrated like talk about it get it out get it out in the open because the release of that I personally feel makes you feel so much better i definitely feel like there's been a massive shift in mental health over the past like two years ever since the pandemic really i've seen it in the workplace i've seen it in conversations i've seen it online but like i said earlier it can definitely be spoken about more we'll get personal let's get personal like i said grab a cup of tea grab a cup of coffee let's get personal so my mental health i noticed i was feeling a lot more anxious is definitely the word and i won't lie to you scared when the pandemic hit i think it was this the fear of uncertainty i personally don't like me and my personality in the way that i like to work i don't do very well with that i'm a very methodical i have to have a list a timetable a structure i like things like that so yeah i definitely saw a shift in my anxiety levels i was worried all the time i was worried about everyone I was worried about going out i was worried about staying in i was worried about the people that i love around me so all of that sort of heightens and heightens and heightens and heightens when you feel like you're you know keeping all of that up it just feels like a really big knot in your chest start talking i feel like you'll be surprised especially over the past two years how many people can relate or like understand how you're feeling you know there's a lot going on in the world there is a lot there's war, there's social media pumping out whatever articles they want to pump out at us 24-7. There's a lot to deal with. And this is another subject that I wanted to touch on as well, is the calories on menus. This is a new thing over the past, like, one or two months. And I just want to say, if you are struggling with that, one, you're definitely not alone. And two, I am just so sorry like the world is tough enough already on body image it doesn't matter like i said who you are age identity like the world is tough on everyone's body image which absolutely fucking sucks so for them to make it now a rule and like a law to put calories on menus it's just like me to go to my favorite restaurant and want to order my favorite like food and then see just like how many calories or and everything like that is on there is quite honestly shocking because they don't show you the nutritional value it's not like they're giving you a complete breakdown of the carbs the fats the saturated fats the sugars the protein the like they're not showing you that they're literally just showing you a number which this is why i think it's really really damaging something that could be healthier for you for example and i'm literally just using this as an example so you've got banana and say you've got five chips but the banana would come out as more calories than these five chips so you would automatically think that the banana is worse for you right just by seeing the number on there which is absolutely a appalling because we don't see the other nutritional value in there and i'd love to be that person to turn around and say listen my darlings just order whatever the fuck you want whatever you want on that menu because it's so hard it's so hard and they're just making it 10 times harder they're just making it 10 times harder so i actually saw a really good list 
go around and if i can find it i'll link it all down below of restaurants who either have a non-calorie menu so they can give you the options or when you go online their calories are not on their online menus as well so i saw that circulating around the other day and i thought that was actually a really positive thing to promote in what can be just a really destructive like industry and environment at the moment it is hard and life is really really hard and i definitely think that there are ways that we can help ourselves and that we can help each other get through this not only physically but definitely mentally is there anybody that we can reach out and talk to you know if you it, i think it depends on who you feel comfortable with if you feel comfortable with a family member brilliant a friend brilliant if you don't feel like talking to people that you know you can talk to people that you don't know some people find that a lot easier than speaking with people that they do know so it's your own personal journey oh just splish blossed out all my nose Ugh. And this is another thing I'll touch on as well, like social media is such a wide category and I could literally sit here and talk about this for days, but literally it's so much easier said than done because I do it as well, but you cannot compare yourself to people online. Literally, so take for example Instagram, it's like a highlight reel, you know, it's quite literally a highlight reel of a lot of people's best bits of the day when they're looking good when they're feeling good and that's not to say that we should shame anybody for doing that i mean i personally do that i post when i feel like i look good in a photo or i feel good in a photo but i think it's so easy to forget that sometimes that's not always real life and there's things like photoshop and airbrush and filters all of this access to all of these different things which portray not always a realistic version of the person or their life so always remember that you know there's a lot going on behind just like one photo or one feed that you see there is a person who has up and downs who has feelings and you shouldn't compare yourself to them because you know seeing somebody else it shouldn't make your life less valid um, another thing i want to touch on is all of the amazing hotlines charities that you can reach out and talk to if you feel comfortable with um a lot of them are anonymous or you can arrange a book even like therapy sessions or like just like speak through sessions group sessions solo sessions so i'll leave down below all of the amazing charities that you can reach out to one of my personal favorites is mind i absolutely love this charity and last year i actually walked 100 miles in four days so it was a marathon a day to raise money for mind and that was all down to you helping donating showing your support because that was really hard that was more of like a mental challenge so this year i really want to do something very very similar i am taking on a challenge with tyler actually which is going to be really exciting and we're going to do the three peaks now, if you don't know what the three peaks are it's basically you come you climb sorry the three I think it's the tallest mountains in the UK, which is Scaffold Pike, Snowdon, and Ben Nevis. I've done it before, but at school, so this is a very long time ago, as I figured out the other day. I was having this chat with um, Morgan, and she was like, how many years ago was it that you left school? And I was like, I don't know, like six? It was more like ten, which I was like, <laughs> shocking. I cannot believe how quickly that's gone, but anyway, I'm rambling on now. Um, so we're actually going to be doing the free peaks challenge and all of the money that we raise is going to be going towards mind because again this is like a men it is a physical challenge as well but it's the mentality of getting each other through it and getting it up the mountains and I'm not too sure the logistics of like if we're going to be able to do it because there's a challenge to do it in like 24 hours it might be quite hard for us because there's only two of us and we at the moment we don't have a driver so look out for that video when that comes out of all of the logistics of what we're going to be doing we're going to be setting up a just giving page and everything like that so all of the donations of course will be more than welcome and all of it's going towards such an amazing charity so i think you know when it comes to mental health don't feel like you're alone I, that's something I really want to stress is that you're never alone in in these feelings I like I can guarantee it and the more we speak about it and the more we get it online and the more we talk about it with one another the more you start to connect with people and think oh like I, I'm not alone and I don't have these feelings which I think are you know intrusive or strange or I shouldn't be feeling like this because there will be somebody out there who can relate like I absolutely promise so everybody just thank you for listening i hope that this is going to be a bit more of a like realistic sit down unedited video um i really like doing videos like this actually just bring it a bit more real and a bit more back to sort of life and the hardships of life thank you love hot pillow for joining me on today's 
little session. We won't be punching Love Hot Pillow today. I went to a little clip of when we were punching Love Hot Pillow, but today it's full of love. So keep loving everybody. Keep on talking and don't forget that your mental health matters, 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 matters. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Sunday for a brand new video. Bye.